So, uh, Caroline, welcome. And uh, yeah, just say a little bit about yourself, what you're doing, what organisation with. My name's Caroline Gale, and I'm the team leader for Money Advice for Your House Group. Um, I manage a team of uh, 10 and child oh, and benefits advisors. Um, we offer benefits and debt advice. Um, we're geographically dispersed across the North West, um, and my team can do things like benefit checks, funds completion, uh, we can give debt advice, we help customers with um, mandatory reconsiderations and benefit appeals if they're having difficulty with their benefit claims. Um, we're very much focused on tenancy sustainability and um, providing our customers with the tools and skills to be able to be financially viable and, and stay in their homes. Yeah. And, and prevent eviction, of course. Yeah, we, want, of course. we want to keep our customers in their homes. Yeah. And some, what, some of the challenges you've seen or faced, especially after the pandemic? Or... Yeah, I think um, it, it's been an incredibly challenging 12 to 18 months. Um, with, with the situation with COVID. Um, we've seen a rise in people coming out of work, coming redundant, um, reduction in hours, um, reduced incomes. Uh, we've seen a massive increase in sort of disability, particularly yeah. around mental wellbeing. Yeah. Um, people struggling more with sort of basic expenditure such as food and fuel. Yeah. Uh, we've had a massive increase in the amount of food bank referrals, um, fuel vouchers we issue, um, tapping into sort of emergency um, funds like the, the COVID winter yeah. fund. Um, and I just think people, more people struggling. Um, I think um, we attended um, a group discussion and they talked about what we call the newly COVID affected and these are people perhaps traditionally haven't had to navigate the welfare no. benefit system yes, before and, and then we have people who are already vulnerable before the pandemic who have become more vulnerable and mm. um, other customers and tenants who have just remained in the situation that they have so there's been a real mix of customers that we've had to deal with um, and I think you know we, we described the, be the benefit system as a minefield and a maze and, and if you're new to it I think it, it's a bit of a culture shock really so we're just trying to provide advice support and guidance to put people in the best financial situation possible mm. to sort of um, boost their income reduce their expenditure and remain uh, sustainable in their homes. Yeah, of course. And how have you heard about policy and practice and also how are you using it also to face those challenges? I was aware from some of our uh, colleagues with other housing providers of the policy and practice calculator. Um, and I think particularly during COVID, we became very aware that we have 10 staff, um, Northwest Disperse, but it wasn't enough for the demand and the increase of customers reaching out for our support. Um, so we were quite keen to look at what we called the lower level referrals, where perhaps people would have some idea of what to do if they had the right information or they yeah. could find out what they might be entitled to benefit-wise, um, who perhaps might not need the sort of more intensive support that we offer with my team on a one-to-one -one basis. So the calculator felt like a good fit, really, to try and um, navigate our customers who are digitally enabled mm. and at least have some level of confidence to be able to try and self-help. Yeah. Um, and that then frees my team up to deal with the really vulnerable clients the most serious crisis cases. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd spoken with a few colleagues that I was aware of from other housing providers um, and then we decided to contact yourselves and, and do a bit of a trial session on it. And I think we were really impressed with um, how intuitive the calculator is. Um, it's got some very unique features where it allows you to do sort of better off calculations. So an example for, uh, for us of that is, is um, we see a lot of changeable incomes with universal credit. The calculator doesn't just ask you to sort of key in one set of information. It allows you to sort of say, if I was pregnant, this is the income I would get, and this is what I'll get after I've given birth and have the child. And that's really good for customers to see because it allows them to think about the future and budgeting. And, and what their financial position might look like. Mm. Um, and that's quite important when you're navigating COVID. 
because people's uh, incomes have been unpredictable and they need to be thinking about if my hours at work reduce or if I increase my hours at work, what would my income look like? What support would I get? What I particularly like about the calculator as well is that it's got the links to application forms and it gives a nice little uh, you know, explanation about what the benefit is. So say someone's disabled and it identifies that they're eligible for personal independence payment, it will give them a nice little understanding, a, a little paragraph about what that is, um, who might be able to apply, and then the links to the sites to find further information. So uh, it, I find it invaluable um, for giving customers who've maybe very little knowledge of the benefit system um, a better understanding, a, a basic understanding of where to go and find more information mm. and what they might be entitled to. And how do you find with the array of demographics of those who are more experienced benefit advisors and those who are less experienced or new to the role, how are they both finding the calculator with that sort of economy? I think it's a calculator that can be used for someone who's maybe newer to using sort of benefits uh, systems and advice, but also my more experienced staff um, are very complimentary about the calculator because they are very often dealing with a high volume of clients and what the calculator does do is it prompts not just for the actual benefit support, but it identifies other eligibility for wraparound support such yeah. as the warm home These discount. Are things you don't necessarily think yeah, about. And, yeah, and I, I think uh, um, no, Julian is one of my uh, advisors said what she really values about it, it does just prompt her to remind her to talk about the sort of the, the more holistic wider support that's yeah. out there for customers and all of that counts because you know it's not just about increasing the income through the benefits route but it is looking at things where you can get council tax reductions and and discounts and exemptions and these are things that if you're moving in a very fast-paced environment um, and as i say we are, we've had a real increase in clientele now and um, that it just helps remind the advisor and um, the newer members of staff who are sort of um, maybe just just at the early part of the career really enjoy the fact that um, it kind of navigates them and guides them to where they need to be as an advisor. Um, we love the prompts on it. We find it really helpful. <laughs> That's great to hear. And as a housing association now, especially with a welfare sport being removed, what are you hoping to achieve in the next like, couple of months? What are your focuses? We have great plans for our calculator. That's so great to hear. <laughs> um, so at the moment, we're just looking at training some of the income staff up. And um, I think as well, after our discussion today, I'm going to be looking at some of the more frontline staff, maybe the neighbourhood yeah. officers, we just bring in, in our key support worker role as well to be able to use the calculator. But also, if they take a call from our customers who are using the enhanced version of the calculator on our, our website and they get a little bit stuck, they'll be trained just to help guide them through the process of using the calculator. So that's the next step for us. Um, and I think as well, we're, we're, we're thinking a lot at the moment about some of the changes that are due in with the reduction um, in universal credit, the removal of the £20 uplift, um, also the ending of furlough. So we're really going to be publicising the calculator. So it, it is very much about um, self-help for those who are able to. It's not about replacing the work my team do, it's about enhancing the support and having a far wider reach to our, our customer mm. or, or um, you know, people will still be able to come to us and ask for a face-to-face -face appointment. We will still provide that support. But for those customers who will feel confident in using that calculator, it's it's a stepping stone yeah. and it's a starting point for them to start their journey and to get whatever debt advice or making whatever benefit claim they need to. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much for taking the time. No, to thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you.